with the direct successor of Anton LaVey, the Black Pope, the man who keeps this whole organization intact, High Priest Peter H. Gilmore. High Priestess Peggy Nadromia was also there, but didn't want to go on camera. Gilmore was a warm man, easy to see why he was a leader. We're just a small, independent crew, as you can see. <laughs> Two guys. <laughs> the pioneer spirit. Yeah. Why, uh, why did you uh, allow this? Uh, because it seemed that uh, I'm dealing with a small group who are rational, who are interested in understanding things in the world around them they might not know much about at the moment. And so I'm always quite happy to give information to help clarify any misconceptions that there might be. And you seem like the right folks to do it with. What is the Church of Satan? The Church of Satan is an association of individuals who recognize themselves as being Satanists defined by the literature created by Anton LaVey. It's not a building. It's like the Mafia. You can't go visit the Mafia. It's, it's the people and the philosophy. And the people live the philosophy, and that's how they communicate it. So you're getting from the horse's mouth <laughs> as inside as you can get. Now, one uh, of the satanic sins is herd conformity, right? Mm -hmm. And yet here you are leading an organization of people. There are rules. There are requirements. Is this a contradiction? Is this an example of herd conformity? No, uh, because we're really a very unique third side kind of organization. Let me sort of backtrack just a little to get a concept out there. In Satanism, we feel that there are often false dichotomies offered, that something has to be either this or that, when often there's a much stranger third side solution that may be the case, or even several other ones. So the unique thing about the Church of Satan is it's an organization for people who would never join organizations. <laughs> It's, it's really less of an organization in a traditional sense uh, than a cabal of strange people who have ways of communicating with each other and then might decide who they are interested in dealing with uh, really on a very personal basis because there is no requirement for any kind of, of meetings, group sessions, uh, any sort of dealing with any other Satanist at all. You don't have to like them. You don't have to meet them. It, it's a really unusual kind of group. So uh, for us, we don't see it as contradictory because uh, the, the laws that we present, the uh, sins and the nine satanic statements, are really basically talking about the way the universe works. And particularly when we deal with the satanic sins, these are behaviors that are, if we did them, we'd think we were being stupid. And we'd have to like smack ourselves and say, oh, you don't want to do that again. Why not just be a completely independent individual. For me, being a part of the Church of Satan was a way of acknowledging a philosophy that I treasured. When I read the Satanic Bible the first time, I was considering myself an atheist. And I read this book, I sat down and read it in one sit sitting, and I said, I am a Satanist, I'm not just an atheist. Most people meet public Satanists who are musicians and writers and artists because they can be generally free to talk about being a Satanist yeah. and it doesn't ruin their career. But we have Satanists who are top chefs and we have Satanists who are high up in fire departments and police departments and in educational systems and they've challenged themselves to be the best at what they can be in those fields. But they also then have to have the strength of saying, I'm going to keep this one element of myself to myself because it would hinder this career and I would have to then be, be set upon by all these bigoted, small-minded people. And I'd spend all my time just trying to explain this, what this was and not getting on with enjoying doing what I'm trying to do. Who are some uh, famous people who have been Satanists, uh, well, who have been members of the Church of Satan? Oh, the, well, I can only tell you about the ones who have admitted publicly. Okay. Uh, Sammy Davis Jr. He was our Rat Pack, Warlock. <laughs> And uh, seeing how you know, he sort of ran around and lived the hedonistic lifestyle, you know, he definitely took some of our principles into account. He was a cool guy, though. He was a real iconoclast, uh, fighting to uh, to be an entertainer and deal with a, a very white male power structure at the time. But Jane Mansfield was a member too. 
Was she? Oh yeah. No, Are you sure actually, about that? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. I've seen her letters to Anton LaVey. She was really into it for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the thing is, there was enough, and she was so interested in Anton LaVey that when her one uh, son was injured by a lion that he'd seen at the zoo, she asked Anton LaVey to you know come and oversee him and, and try to you know, make her feel better. And she was very obsessed with him. People like to sort of try to make it look like the other way around at this point, since they're both gone. But uh, Jane was pretty hot for Doctor for a time being there. And, uh, you know, the, there's like the obvious musicians like Marilyn Manson has admitted to being a member and, you know, used it for his books. And King Diamond, of course. And uh, the British guy Mark Almond, who uh, soft sell his band. Uh, do you ever feel like that, on the other hand, the pageantry and uh, you know the ghoulishness that is associated, the skulls and the coffins, it's just sort of silly. I mean, is it like, I mean, do you ever feel like, eh, you know, this is really just worthless? I mean, <laughs> it sh- it, how do you feel about that? Well, first off, all religions are show business, mm-hmm. and Satanism is about the only one that admits that it is. What do you know? that the other lower degrees don't know. Ah, what, ah, what makes you so special? Uh, Why are you the fifth degree Satanist? If I told you, you wouldn't get to leave <laughs> this room. Uh, uh, so the fifth degree is, uh, for us, it's a title that means a satanic master. And that means that not only have uh, I moved the world of Satanism through my writings and speakings, but I've come to a certain level of, of mastery of the philosophy and implementing it and made contributions that will be lasting throughout the possible existence of however long this organization will go. Day, Anton LaVey decided he was going to be the high priest. And so mote it be, right? Oh, yeah. So why should we care about this guy? I mean, what's so special about this guy who says, I decide I'm going to be the high priest of the Church of Satan? I mean, any wacko off the street could say the same thing. So what made him special? Why do you care about the fact that he, in particular, proclaimed himself the first high priest of this organization. Well, because if he didn't do it, somebody with less talent and ability might have and would have been somebody laughable that you'd want to just say, well, you know, you know, why don't you put on your tinfoil helmet and go toddling along. Uh, with Anton LaVey, uh, he founded the religion, and basically being the high priest made complete sense. Uh, being a fifth degree, you know, when he finally realized that this is how he's going to set it up, because he didn't really mention that so much when he first started. You know, the whole hierarchy wasn't completely established the day the organization was. It evolved a bit over time. Uh, but this was a man who could always deliver the goods. He was a, an amazing keyboard player, and I think his writing speaks for itself. It's Do you feel that Christianity is bad? Christianity is something that satisfies other people. As long as Christians keep Christianity to themselves, I don't have a problem with it. Because there are different kinds of people. I think that there are carnal people and there are spiritual people. The carnal people are the ones who don't feel the need in having some kind of supernatural or other kind of uber-parental figure over them. Those kind of folks would feel bereft if they didn't think there was some spooky daddy or mommy in the sky or wherever looking over them. And sometimes those kind of people also turn to various governments. Uh, they're very swayed by totalitarians because they want some kind of, of authority on them. It's been clear to me since I was a kid that there really isn't uh, any kind of interventionalist supernatural figures out there. You know, there's, I, I've never seen any evidence for it. Regardless, all these different religions seem to think that there are such things, but they all disagree on what it is and what it does. I'm happy being the center of my universe. I don't need to ask somebody else to step forward and kind of, you know, take my place. It's like, Satan? Yeah, fuck you, go away. Maybe I shouldn't (laughs) say that. What Uh, we're doing is using Satan in the original Hebrew sense. Satan means adversary, opposer, one to question or to accuse. So we're kind of going back to the Old Testament concept of of being a, a figure who is going to stand up and challenge. How do you feel about the possibility of modifying 